Okay, so good day everybody. Uh, I would like to show you how you can be able to use AutoCAD 2010 to create a simple uh, survey plan that is plotting uh, a survey plan using bearing and distance. I believe that uh, you have a basic understanding of um, AutoCAD, so I'll go straight to the point on how we can be able to do that. So, the first thing you do is that uh, you need to have your survey plan, that is the, the data you have, you need, the bearing and the distance. So, the first thing you do now is that you go to formats, on your menu bar, click on format, you go to unit, just for us to set the unit, and then this map will leave it there. The precision you put it to two decimal place now under the angle type you go to um, uh, put it on degree minute and second and then the precision you still put it on this two decimal place click on clockwise to make it clock track it go on clockwise direction and then under the insert scale you make it to be in, mini, in meter so you are working on meter and then under the direction you make sure that it should be in knots you click ok and then you click ok here now with this you have set up your, your workspace for you to do your plotting or to do your work properly so now the first thing you do is that you have to pick your line depending on the type of line you want to do poly line or normal line depending on the kind of things you do but now in that case i'll go to line i'll click when i click i'll draw the line to any direction i want to do you understand so in that case now you have to get your distance so i have the distance already i'll press i'll press uh, at do you understand that is to say and now put the distance let's say uh, 30 meter and then at what bearing that is what angle are we doing it i'll press my sheet and press the less than sign on the keyboard so that it will take me to the place that the that way i can be able to put my degree and minutes so i'll put let's say i'll put 40 40 degree now for d represent degree or press D and then let's say uh, 25 minutes 25 minutes I press this Do you understand so this is how this is the format this is how you put it and then press enter it automatically take you to the right direction that is the right bearing then you continue you don't need to ex exit it or escape it you continue to, right, to the next direction or just impute at again impute your heart let's see in this case i'll put 50 meter put 50 meter and then i'll put my shift i press my shift my less than sign and then what uh, i'll put let's say 230 230 d and let's say 40 uh, minutes so i'll press it and then i'll press enter now i have this then i'll continue again to this direction and let's say i press i'll just put the distance again at so, 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 so let's say 30 and then i'll press uh, shift that is then I press my angle sign again and then I put the distance I put the the bearing now let's say I put something like 200 degree 200 degree D and let's say 50 minutes then I press enter now you see that it takes us to this angle 
and then based on the fact that uh, we have this and then if it is four corner this thing we have what you need to do you just press now based on the fact you have come to all the corners the other bearings you just want to make up here if you have the other bearing you can also impute it to this direction but if you if you know that your work is accurate you just need to just you need to close this so you can impute it again you have the right everything you put it in to close or you can just press c just press c on your keyboard that is to close and then press enter you see that your work is successfully closed do you understand so this is how simple way you can be able to plot a survey uh plan on autocad so i i hope and i believe that this actually solved the problem and this actually help you so please subscribe to our channel of car structure technology press your like button and you will get access to more of our videos that will be talking so thank you and god bless you